In today's video, we went into CMG Superdome Speed with Fire, the highest arena ever in Blue Sea Battles, and we abused the power of the Cobra to get some quick and easy wins in this arena. Let's get right into it. Okay, here's our first opponent. Interesting looking profile. So, uh, this profile looks very modded, but you know what? I'm not gonna ask any questions. And yeah, here's the strategy that we're gonna be using, right? We have Rabbit Gold, Lightning, Econerf, Ninja Boomer Cobra. So I'll explain everything one by one. Rabbit Gold is the power that you need to use in Speed of Fire in order to make infinite money. Any other eco power you could use won't work. Please use Rabbit Gold in this arena. Lightning is to help us defend stuff. Econerf is to drain Rabbit Gold because everyone uses it. Like, literally everyone ever uses it. The shorter the map, the better. Shipyard is very short. It's great for us. And uh, Econerf, of course, reduces the power of Rabbit Gold by 50%. If you're wondering about Eco Choke, it doesn't do anything. Because if you check in the battle description, except selling a battle powers, right? So, uh, Rabbit Gold classifies as a, as a battle power. You can't use it. Uh, so yeah, that's why we use uh, Econerf here. Lightning, of course, is to help us defend. Boomerang Throw will be our styling tower. Ninja will be our main popping power for more class balloons. And Cobra will, of course, be our aggressive potential. So uh, that's basically the entire strategy. And yeah, yeah, let's see what he has in store for us in this first game. Wizard is interesting enough. You should have Boomerang or Ice and nothing else. He did use Robert Gold though, which is something that players in Speed of Fire do. If he sends nothing though, I'll just not entertain his Robert Gold whatsoever. And just like leave it at that. So he gets nothing out of it. And then I'm just gonna do it myself, right? I'm gonna Robert Gold myself. And then I'm gonna just get up this Bionic. I don't even need to Lightning here. I could, but I won't need it. So I just won't. And yeah, there we go. We hold off just fine. Uh, the second hero is to gold. I'm just gonna. Well, I'm gonna start sending blacks right away, actually. And I'm gonna get up two cobras on strong. Uh, the reason for that is it's gonna allow us to. Um, to get up some white funds and uh, allow us to defend space blacks better. He did rub gold once again, so we did eco enough to prevent him from making much money. He did use a lightning bolt as well. We're gonna rub it to gold again since we are sending ourselves yellows here. Because, yeah, uh, of course, in Speed of Fire, the point is that you send balloons not only on your opponent but also at yourself for double the rewards. And then, of course, the balloons are twice as fast and the uh, balloon sends unlocked two rounds earlier, right? So that's basically what Speed of Fire is. He once again just rubbers the gold without sending anything at himself. So that's not how you should go about things. I'm just gonna get up some Cobras, I suppose, and leave it at that. And then I'm gonna rub it to gold again. He sent blues, which is interesting enough, I suppose. But yeah, I'm just gonna spam things until my rubber to gold wears out. And already right, you have so many Cobras and he just dies because I mean, Pink's OP, I guess. So that was a very interesting first game, but at least I explained the purpose of the strategy to you guys. And let's move on to the next one. Well, here's a player that is telling us a lot about his skill level in CMG Superdome. I guess the negative prestige shows for it. He does have top badges though. This might be a better player than we think. So he read these up on In Ruins. It's a very long map, which you don't really want. Water Hazard would have been okay, but he skips it and we get Ink Blot, which is actually perfect. So do we want Econef here? I'm not sure. We could run something like a Team Tower Stun, even Deactivated Abilities. We have options here. I think I'm going to try Deactivated, because the thing is, if we make it to BFBs without actually dying, uh, we straight up win the game. So the one thing that's scary to us is, um, is uh, Team Tower Stun, but if we manage to survive Team Tower Stun, we're going to end up winning. Instantly, on the spot. Econef is of course not scary to us in the slightest, neither is something like a power lock, which he could be running, because uh, those are popular strategies. Uh, he has Econef, okay, so we basically win every single time. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Because uh, yeah, he needs to have a Team Tower stun to pose a threat here. So we should be winning this game, I hope. Because we have the deactivated abilities, which helps a whole lot with future rushes, especially BFBs and stuff like that, right? Okay, so he just 
lightnings right off the bat. Fair point. Uh, I'm just going to quickly send some blacks in. I'm going to rub it to gold as he does. And he should be eco nothing here. He is not. I'm going to send some greens then. He eco nerfs finally. And I'm going to get up this ninja because we're going to need it for um, this blue adjustment that he's gotten up. And yeah, I guess here we just... I don't know, survive, current objective, survive, I guess this is our life now, uh, we should not have been getting up this, should have been getting up, okay, you know what, I'm probably gonna rub it to gold here instead, and yeah, we should be fine with two bionic boomers, um, I'm gonna get up an adjustment as well, we're gonna need to put pressure on him, and I'm also going to get up another boomerang. I'm going to lightning this. Oh, he dies. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, gains just end quickly on short maps if you're not careful like I was. So, geez to you. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, there he is again. Okay, I guess he wants his revenge. I guess he wants his revenge. Let's entertain that. So, we're on mountain pass here. I think we'll just do the same thing. It's probably our best bet. Because, yeah, last time he ran eco nerf and deactivated abilities will hard counter anything that's not like um, Team Tower Stun, which is the main struggle we have. Because, uh, yeah, we need to be to, to wire around like Team Tower Stun and be able to defend it and stuff, which is very, very scary, but it's nothing impossible, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to rub it gold here. He's probably going to eco enough, I had to guess. Uh, he's not. Okay, he's just using another lightning, which is a Team Tower Stun play. The reason why you lightning so early, by the way, is in case of Power Lock, it's very, very scary. You don't want to, like, let it get to you. Because it's a part of the strategy, and it's a problem. But if you know how to deal with it, then you won't have any problems. Just play safe is the key, right? So let's find out if he actually has Ikuna or not with this next dropped gold. Uh... Okay, so far not seeing it. I don't want a lightning here really in case of Team Tower Stun. Yeah, it was nice that we didn't lightning that we didn't have to lightning there. Uh that would have been a big problem later if like he were to have something like a, a Team Tower Stun, right? Uh we do have our Glaive Ricochet already set up, which helps a fair amount with defending those yellows. We defend infinite here. And he has knockout actually. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, do we die here? We do not. Okay, cool. Well, he has a knockout, so we're just going to need to get up multiple of these Glaive Ricochets here, and we're going to be fine. Uh, granted, he might just, like, not be fine here, because, you know, looks like he's struggling out here. I'm going to quickly set this uh, this Boomer to, to the left hand, because that's going to, like, be where we might crawl. Our Glaive Lord, if he ever was to knock it out, he's adjusting, which is rather strange, but I won't judge too, too much. Okay, he does knock it out. I'm just going to get this up here then. And he's sending region whites, which do absolutely nothing, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess he can do that if he wants. Won't, like, act too, too much on it. I'm gonna quickly set this back up here though. We're gonna need you uh, in case he decides to re knock out. And yeah, I'm just gonna like try to play safe here. Um, I'm gonna quickly like get this ninja up, get another one down as well. You never know. Because uh, he can't send us camo ceramics, which would be rather scary, but. He's offensive pushing. Okay, well, uh, this might be scary. I'm gonna quickly, like, make sure that we don't have any issues whatsoever with, like, any potential rushes. Okay, he's pre and We need to do the same then. All right. Um, okay, Moab, sure. I can work around the Moab. I'm just gonna lightning this, and there we go. We're chilling. Okay, he's re-offensive pushing. I'm gonna quickly get this up. Uh, okay, he it is a VFP actually, okay. It's Moabs too, oh shoot. All right. 
Let me quickly deactivate his abilities. And nice, he dies. Cool. Okay, we take the win. Nice. That was pretty tense, actually. Uh, so thanks for playing the entertaining game and playing super aggressive. So yeah, GC, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we got Sensation here. So this looks like a pretty good opponent. Top 43 global, top 70 prestige. Lots of global badges. Okay, yeah, this looks like a very good opponent. We're on baggage claim here. We could do the whole deactivate thing again or eco nerf. Both are fine. I want to try deactivate again. I think this. I think it worked great for us last time. We're gonna try it again. Uh, he might have Cobra, which we will be able to do great against if he has it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think he has the right boomer spot, honestly. I'm just gonna go for the lightning here right off the bat and go for the rubbed cold. And he's eco nerfing. Wait, he's leaking very, very low. And he does have the eco nerf, which is something to keep in mind for sure. Um, yeah, he's already leaked very, very low. So that's definitely interesting to keep in mind. He did get up the Bionic, obviously he gets it up sooner than me because he doesn't have the struggle of like eco nerf training your money and stuff. So, I mean, we're just gonna rub it gold right off the bat. He's forced to do the same because he's on cooldown for his eco nerf and he's probably gonna use it like now, I would assume. Not so much, all right. Well, I'm gonna keep my last lightning if I can. That would be great. So yeah, just gonna get this ricochet instead. He does the same. And yeah, we're in a pretty good position here because we have all the defense in the world. And uh, well, next time he rubs to gold, I'm doing it mine instantly as well. But for now, I'm just gonna chill, not worry about it. Okay, now I'll do it. Because he's gonna eco enough now, I assume. Yep, I'm gonna get up my adjustment. I'm gonna make sure that we're defending here. Uh, gonna lightning this as well. He does the same, all right. He's gotten up a Glaive Lord already. He's probably running a passive strategy, I would assume. Considering how he's played this thus far, I'm not seeing an adjustment. I'm not seeing anything of that sort. So I'm just gonna like try to defend here and eco a fair amount. Like this should be good, yeah. I'm just gonna go for more Cobras and I assume he has an ace. Uh, which will actually be pretty easy to take advantage of here We are with our deactivated abilities because the map is just that short. Uh, he probably expects Team Tower Stun or something like that, which I assume is, is why he's going to up so much defense here. But personally, I'm just looking for uh, making some money here. I'm looking to send BFBs round 13, maybe 14. I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Because, yeah, Baggage Claim is a pretty difficult map, so our money situation isn't the greatest in the world. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably going to do 14. I'll just wait here and get the BFB sent around 14. think this is the best approach. And, yep, we do manage to... Okay, he has a glue. Wait, our Diac might not be that useful then. Unless he has an Ace next. Oh, that was a... Camo ceramic. Shoot. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, super. Well, we're really not going to be able to use many deactivate abilities here, but you know what? Let's do it just in case. Okay, he did prevent the glue strike ability, and he's dead. Cool. Okay, well, uh, our deactivate really wasn't of much use there, but. We did still take the win, so geez the sensation, let's move on to the next game. Okay, here's Loss444, going bottomless pit. I would appreciate if he skipped this map of all maps, because um, bottomless pit is not exactly the most, um, the most, like, appropriate map is what I'll say for a Cobra. So we will skip on 6 seconds if he doesn't skip by then, which I hope he does. Yeah, alright, he wants to play passive, sure. He would have skipped if he didn't want to. He's going to skip this for sure, I can guarantee it. If not, we're going to go out the echo strategy again. And hopefully things work out for us. Because they did last time, even if he had glue super boomer, which was hard counter de to deactivate, but you know. Uh, he said good luck. I don't know if he wants to play this or like skip it on six or something. No, he does want to play it. 
Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna use this spot, which Sensation used last time, because it was way better to save lives in the early game, apparently. So we're gonna go for this. Because I think it works out better. So, yeah, we're just gonna rub it to gold here. He does the same. And we're gonna Lightning right off the bat. He does the same. Okay. So far, classic start, but we have indeed leaked way less than he has. So that's definitely pretty good for us. Um, he's... No, he. I thought he targeted his boomer to something weird, but never mind, he didn't. Uh, he's just, like, trying to defend here, which is a fair play to do. And we're gonna rub gold when greens come out. Okay. We should probably be rubbed gold now. He only rubbed gold when I do, because he expects, like, an eco nerf, I suppose, or something like that. But we're not gonna be entertaining that, of course. Uh, we do have the deactivate abilities. So, yeah, he gets up a ricochet in a very interesting spot. This is not optimal by any means, but he's gonna leak those camo greens, and yeah, they're actually getting annoying here because he's on seven lives. So, okay, he has. Why is he going for an ace like that? Does he not have ninja? He might not, because else he wouldn't be playing like this, right? Okay, well, that's interesting enough. He only ever rubber scold on I do. I'm confused on why, because I obviously don't have an econ F. I would have used it earlier if I did. And he dies. Well, uh, yeah, this is what Baggage Claim does to man, I suppose. GG's to last 444, and let's move on to the next game. Okay, so here we are against Thug It Out on Shallow River this time. This is still a great map, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be running econ F this time around, though, finally. After, like, years of deactivate abilities, I might just, like... Um, showcase why deactivated abilities is made on short maps, like as something uh, as something related to the title, like unleash the power of deactivated abilities in this game mode. How I, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video, but it's probably gonna have something related to deactivate. Uh, but yeah, if you guys made it this far into the video, you've already seen a lot of games, and you're probably you've probably been entertained so far, right? If you have, I would greatly appreciate you showing me a bit of support. If you were to uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on today's video, because, you know, those literally take two presses of a button, nothing extra, and they help me out so much to, like, get the channel out to more people, stuff like that, right? So I would greatly appreciate it if you were to press those two buttons for me. It would mean the world. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to be using my rubber to gold here and chilling, right? Uh, he does rubber to gold himself. I'm going to econ F that right off the bat. He does the same. Okay. Well, so far, we're not going to exactly need a lightning, but I'm going to use it just so that it pops balloons early and makes us more money. It didn't work out because I used it right when that... Okay. Sure. I won't be speaking on this too much. Uh, I'm going to talk at this point to the other hand. It's going to be way more efficient, by the way. Because it's going to pop this AI way better and overall just allow us to defend way better as well, right? So yeah, we're just gonna send some yellows ourselves here and try to go for the ricochet now. Okay, we should be fine here. Nice, we do defend. We're gonna be using rubber to gold as soon as round seven starts. Does the same. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go for the adjustment here finally. Uh, gonna go for a second one too, cause why not? And yeah, I'm probably gonna go for the glaive lord about now he finally got his up okay and yeah we're definitely gonna want a ninja like down here at the bottom for the ai and i'm gonna want to stop echoing like now right so yeah i'm just gonna get this up I'm gonna get all of these cobras like in spots where they would save lives because ai is tough sent us a lead we're gonna get a lead detection on boomer because yeah if you notice we don't ever actually need to get it up until it's forced on us so that's why we don't do it uh he's sending us whites for eco purposes that's fair enough to do i'm gonna get up um white funds until around 10 ends because that's uh i mean if you don't know this wired funds take three rounds to be worthwhile uh when you buy and sell them so yeah, this one Cobra right here is not going to be worth it by like maybe $30, but the other ones are going to make us a bit every single time, so that's why it's better. 
Uh, and yeah, he's just been saving up here, so I don't exactly know what his plan is, but he's definitely not gonna defend that well if he just like doesn't go for stuff uh, by like ecoing. So I mean, we'll definitely take it. Here he's just gonna be ninja stalling. I mean, that's fair to do, but let's find out what his plan is next, right? Uh, he's defending with balloon jutsus over here. He has very, very low eco. Definitely something to keep in mind. He sent us camo ceramics. We'll just turbocharge this. Not worry too, too much. And he keeps on sending more and more and more. Which really won't help his case all that much. We're just going to keep sending some regen leads. Try to force stuff. And we're going to lightning this. Make sure that we're okay to the AI with a double jutsu. And gonna keep ecoing here, and he really isn't defending, so... I mean, I suppose he has something like a super monkey, which doesn't help his case much, especially because the AI is so tough on this map, so... Yeah, I mean, this is GG, he's definitely lost here. Yeah, nice. So we do take the win, thanks to the power of early BFB sense. G's to fuck it out, and let's move on to the next game, and probably last one too. Masuk Q. I hope this is not something like a bait name or something like a name I should not be reading. Uh, yeah, uh, in like some other language that I don't know. I apologize if that's the case. Maybe this is just a normal person. I'm being like paranoid. Y y I, I shouldn't actually read the names of like people where I don't know what the name means. Whatever. Uh, so we're on moon landing here. We definitely don't want to play this. It's way too long for Cobra purposes. And this is probably going to be the last game of the video, so yeah. If you guys skipped the last game for some reason, or haven't heard me last time, please like and sub. Come on, it's it's literally so positive, man. please. Deactivate the police, let's go, let's go for it, let's go for it, let's go for it. Um, do you want to go ninja or bow here? Both are options. I don't know. I think probably ninjas are still our better play, because, yeah, it's, it's a stall. We're going to definitely take the stall. Uh, we're gonna go for our boomer to start with here as usual. It does the same. Uh, there's probably some other strategy that you can run on this map, but I don't know. I like I like boomer still. Uh, we're just gonna like lightning now, and he's gonna have a rubber to gold instead, which will make him leak a lot of lives actually. So yeah, he's just gonna be leaking a fair amount here, which will definitely take. So he eco nerfs. Okay, so we should be countering here, and we should be taking a win. Uh, on this opponent because we do have the counter strategy to eco enough on short maps which is deactivated so yeah we're just going to eco enough uh, sorry not eco enough we're going to route gold right when we can right so what we're going to be doing uh rabbit gold now there we go and we're going to want to go for a second boomerang here as soon as possible we really don't want to burn our last lightning because it helps us a ton in the long run uh, so we're just gonna go for a ricochet here, and yep, looks like we're doing fine. Cool. So of course the reason why we bring boomerang in this loadout, I've never exactly said this, like why boomerang over any tower, but it's because it has the best and cheapest uh, early game group popping power, like mass group popping power, which we really need in speed of fire because of the amount of group blooms set at us, right? Finally, Konef's another time. And he might be dead here, actually, because he's really leaking a whole lot here. You know, the lightning allows him to be fine. Okay, well done. So uh, we do have our two um, glaive ricochets here, which um, will end up clutching the defense for us, which we will need. We're just going to eco up until like this round ends, I think, and then start saving up. We're going to need a fair amount of stuff to... Okay, so he does have the cobra... And I don't know what third. I guess we're going to find out as we go along. Um, so since he does have the Cobra, I probably want to like keep ecoing and stuff. So we're going to definitely go for that. Um, I think what I want to do is get this up as a Glaive Lord as close to the track as I can. Or maybe like here. I don't know what I'm going to do really. Um, whatever. I do need one Glaive Lord spot. This seems to be fine. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly lightning this and... Oh, he, he, he just caused his own death. Fair point. Well, uh, okay, GG's to this guy. That ended very anticlimactically, but I guess you can do that in Speed of Fire because it sends balloons at yourself. 
you need to be wary of that. That's the lesson we take out of today's game. So yeah, uh, cheers to this guy. That's gonna be for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, well, I do have a few things to add. If you want to put in a bit more effort than just liking and subscribing and supporting the channel, leave in the comment, comment section down below. Also helps a fair amount. And I do have a Discord server if you want to join that. The link for that will be in the description of uh, this video down below. So uh, definitely check it out if like, you want to talk to me, join my clan, whatever it is. It's all going to happen in the Discord server. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one and have a good one. Bye-bye.